company called Orion Solar has 1.3 million U.S. made solar panels delivering 875 megawatts. It just went live in Texas. But where that where's that energy going? That's also interesting. Really kind of fascinating. You think this would be powering the Texas grid? No. Now, what's really fascinating about this, these solar panels weren't made in China. They were made in the United States. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Uh, it's going well, thank you for asking. So let's first, let's start out talking a little bit about solar. I, I sometimes complain about solar. Solar is certainly not a perfect industry by any stretch. And here's a picture of some solar panels, just a few. But you know what's even more interesting is where they're located. Yeah, oh, these are in the great state of Texas. These are in Texas. Hasn't Texas passed up California for solar? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't, particularly with this monster. Yeah, so a company called Orion Solar has 1.3 million U.S. made solar panels delivering 875 megawatts. It just went live in Texas. 875 megawatts. That is huge. A really big deal. That's bigger than a bunch of uh but where that where's that energy going that's also interesting oh yeah no this this, this is truly interesting this, this article covers a lot of a lot of ground the company celebrated the feat with a ribbon cutting attended by u.s secretary of energy jennifer granholm along with state and local officials if you have a hard time envisioning Texas state officials rubbing elbows with someone from the federal government, you're not alone. This gets pretty funny because we talk about this, you know, fairly often about the contradictions between federal government politics and local government and state government politics. OK, so um, Texas is obviously a very Republican state. The Biden-Harris administration envisioned an industrial strategy for clean energy that's built and installed by American workers, empowering American companies and proud American communities. This future is seen in action through the Orion Solar Belt in Texas. This project showcases how American-made clean energy can power data centers and our future. Now, as Bill said, that gives you a clue as to where this energy is going. So what's really kind of fascinating, you think this would be powering the Texas grid? No. 85% of the power is going to Google. <laughs> Anyways, it's going to power Google data centers in Ellis County and the company's cloud services in the Dallas region. Only 15% will go to power homes and businesses in Texas. But And the thing is, is like the community where this is located is like a population of 400 people. Okay. So obviously they can't take all that 875 megawatts. I get it. Google has signed a $1 billion power purchase agreement with SB Energy Global as part of its goal to become carbon-free by 2030. Now, what's really fascinating about this, these solar panels weren't made in China. They were made in the United States by SB Energy Global, which is a division of SoftBank. Their uh, investment's going to be off by a lot. Um, made available by the Inflation Reduction Act, which was enacted in 2022 without one single Republican vote in Congress. And yet, Texas officials were on hand to bamboozle voters into thinking they somehow deserve credit for bringing this project to fruition. But bamboozle was the article's word, not mine. Right, right, exactly. And I talked about this a lot because I've brought Republican political people to green energy events in Florida, and, and they're happy to promote it. But none of them have any issue with green energy. They all want to see local job creation and things like that. The, the issue is, you know, what is the best use of American taxpayer dollars. Okay. And, you know, I think clean energy is a pretty worthwhile goal and it needs kind of a kick to be able to get it started. So, so also make sure that you mention the fact that not only are the panels built in America, the steel that holds all that up in that photograph, that's also American-made steel. Nice. So the Houston Chronicle reports the three solar farms are located in the town of Buckholtz, which is about 150 miles northwest of Houston, 75 miles north of Austin, has a population of less than 400 people. Yeah. They're, the three solar farms are built side by side, and the 875 megawatts could power 105,000 homes if it was dedicated to that and not to Google data centers. Right. 
Does it give us anything about batteries here? No, I didn't see anything about batteries, no. Yeah, so uh, eventually there's going to have to be some big battery parks to uh, support this, but uh, I didn't see anything about the battery situation. That's probably because the batteries probably made by cattle. I, I was really fascinated by the fact that the solar panels were made in the United States. It would have been interesting to see financial data on that whole project to see, but you know we're never going to get that. Because the, the general rule of thumb is a million dollars per megawatt, which takes five acres of land. Did they mention how many acres of ground that thing covers? I don't recall seeing that. I just see the total number of panels, you know, and so you could probably sit down and, you know, calculate. Yeah, it, it's going to be approximately 4,500 acres, which is still, that's a lot of acres of nothing but solar panels. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.